all you know word get around easily so like that was dumb and that was very very stupid for you to tell the two people that you did if you didn't want nobody to know that you was having sex with somebody else's boyfriend <laughs> I think, I think you are, you are something special uh, I take you on a shopping spree, yeah, yeah Cause I'm so into you, girl I'm so into you, I love you, baby I'm so So, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Apple Pie And I'm back with another video If you're new, welcome to the crew And if you're not so today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a story time of me getting cheated on, which was, a, that was in 2019, we're in 2021, so like three years ago, huh? oh, <laughs> two years ago, two years ago, my senior in high school, so I'm just going to get straight to it, straight to it, so one day, Two years ago um it was a friday my ex-boyfriend had asked me to go out well to go chill chill with a boy and a girl that we had went to school with which i'm gonna name her <laughs> i don't know what to name her okay so we're gonna say s her she is s and then the a boy that he was supposed to hang out with along with S is G. Okay. So he told me that he was gonna just chill with S and G and that's it. They were just gonna cause I was confused. Like when he told me I said what? And then he was like, yeah we're just gonna chill that up. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So that was it. Um he didn't come home until not home, like he didn't go back home. He didn't go back to his house. Keep in mind, he left probably around like seven. He probably left around like seven. He didn't get back until like probably like two, one or two in the morning. So I'm like, he called me. No, first he texted me. He was like, good night. So I'm like, what's like, what's wrong with you? Like, you not gonna talk to me or nothing? And then, I don't know, somehow we ended up on the phone and he was just acting weird. Like, when I said weird, like, he was giving straight attitude. He was, like, like he wasn't trying to talk to me. So I'm like, the hell, like, what's up with you? Like, and keep on, this was basically Saturday morning, basically. So I'm like, what's up with you? Like, he kept saying nothing. He's just tired. He's just tired. He just want to go to sleep. So I'm like, me with my attitude, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Saturday, so... Went to sleep, Saturday came, you know, it was like, like through, through the whole day, well, not even through the whole day, so we woke up, it was just, it was straight, and then like, you know, like something in you was telling you like something's wrong, like it was that, like I had a feeling like something was wrong, like it didn't seem right, so like later on that Saturday, it was like late at night, yeah, later on, later that night on that Saturday, he was like, he want to tell me something, but he's scared to tell me. So I'm like, what? Like, what do you mean? Why are you scared to tell me? He was like, cause I was like, is it bad, good? And he was, he was like basically saying like, I guess he was trying to say like, he didn't want to say what was bad or good, but you know me, I already know. Like I already had a feeling like something like was telling me, like it was telling me from the jump, from that, from that early in the morning, it was already telling me. So he was just like, it, he kept, he was like, it's bad. He was like, I'm going to be sad. So I'm like, the heck? Like, what do you mean I'm going to be sad? <laughs> this thing over here laughing. I'm like, what the heck? What do you mean I'm going to be sad? And he just like, he didn't want to tell me. Like, he just kept saying that. So I'm like, are you going to tell me yes or no? He was like, no, he's not going to tell me. And then he'll be like, he going to tell me. Then he going to say he's not going to tell me. Like, so it was going back and forth. Nigga, shut up. It was just going back and forth of... Him want to tell me him not telling me. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why this nigga's laughing. Are you done? <laughs> all right. So keep in mind, I already had a feeling. Like, so like after like we going back for he don't want to tell me da da da. So we like we we leaving the situation alone. Then we come back. We leaving and we come back. So y'all know I'm texting my best friend. I'm like, let's see. I think this nigga cheated on me. 
and she was like, what, what do you mean? No, I think it was on the phone. I, I don't know if I called her or I texted her. Keep in mind, this is late. Like, this is late now. This is like 11, 12, Sunday morning. What, 12 o'clock Sunday morning. He And I was like, I don't I don't remember if I called her or I texted her. Because, y'all, all of a sudden, he just started crying on the phone. Who was on the phone? All of a sudden, he just started crying. So, I'm like, this, like what the hell are you crying for? Like, I'm now confused. Like, what, like, what do you have to tell me? Like, why are you crying? So, I had a feeling. So, I called my best friend. I'm like, Leslie, I think this nigga cheated on me. She was like, well, what do you mean? So I, t I told her, I was like, um, Friday, he, he said that he was going out with S&G, and, and he came home, when he, he when he got home, he was acting weird. So Lexi, Lexi, my best friend, she was like, girl, no, that don't know, you over that ran. I said, Lexi, no, I think this nigga cheated on me. So, y'all, I don't think, okay, so y'all, peace. I think after I got phone my best friend, if I called her and told her that, after I got phone her, I think I called him back. And he still didn't tell me. I had to ask him questions. I had to ask him, like, did you, I was like, did you do something with S? He was silent. So I said, hello, did you do something with S? He was like, yeah. So, bitch, I had a moment of silence for myself. I just said, bitch, I'm sorry. That's how I tell stories. So... I had a moment of silence for myself. So I'm like, okay. What did you do with her? It was silent. Nobody said nothing. I said, okay. Ask again. What did you do with her? And then I had to ask, did you have sex with her? Moment of silence again. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it happens. And then crying again. He's crying. Y'all. He cheated on me and he's crying. Do y'all see this? Boy, why are you all that smiling? He cheated on me and he's crying. So, basically, yeah, he told me, yes, they had sex. So, I think I hung up on him. I hung up on him. I started crying to my best. So I'm like, let's see. I called this time I call her back. And I was like, let's see. I told you. Yes, he did. He cheated on me. Da da da. So, y'all, I got the receipts here. So we just gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it on there so you guys can see. And we're gonna read. Oh my god, this is I don't know why I was asking these questions. I feel like I was asking these questions just to hurt myself. Like but basically, so yeah, he had told me he did. He told me, um, oh, y'all, before these, before this even happened, I forgot to tell y'all. So, um, he told me they had sex. Now, I'm like, I was confused. I'm like, what do you mean y'all had sex? Like, how, like, I thought you were chilling with SNG. He told me, oh, yeah, G ended up not coming. So, I'm like, wait, so it's a setup? Like, what? And he's talking about something he don't know. He don't know if she set it up. But um, G, which is a boy, ended up not coming. And how they got high. And y'all, they got high. And he didn't know what he was doing. It just happened. They didn't know what they were doing. So I'm like... How how didn't you know what you were doing? He was like, it don't know, it just happened. So this is just dumb to me. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Because y'all, when I the first time I ever got high, all I wanted was my nigga. Not him. My current nigga. So I'm like, but back then, you know, I didn't know. So I'm listening like a dumbass. Like a dumbass that I was. And I'm like, oh, okay, but but you know, I'm still crying. Well, I didn't cry out to him. I was crying to my best friend. So, um, but basically, yeah. So let me tell y'all, before I read these messages and everything, let me just tell y'all why I was so freaking hurt. So before this, right, the S girl, I had a class with her, um, a three hour class. I had a three hour class with her and some other friends, right? Her ex-boyfriend, K, her ex-boyfriend name is K. 
her ex-boyfriend used to do what he do around the school. And keep in mind, our school was small. So once you do something, everybody know. Everybody know. So her ex-boyfriend used to do what he do. She used to come to class crying because she see him doing what he do. Right? I used to tell her, like, it's okay. Da -da -da. I used to, like, be her shoulder to cry on. Okay? Let me tell you that. I used to be this girl's shoulder to cry on. And she used to, like... Cause she used to she used to come for me to me for advice like should she say something to him should she leave him alone which i would tell her like girl no everybody know you're not gonna leave k alone because yeah you know y'all just know you always run back to him every time because this wasn't the first time he do what he do if y'all know what he do what he do y'all know what i mean by do what he do cheat on him so i used to be this girl shoulder crying like she used to come to class crying i used to help her da 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 so for you, for you to go and have, how do I say this? For you to go and cheat with my ex-boyfriend, I found that very disrespectful. Like, how could you? Like, literally just last week, I was being your shoulder to cry on when you found out that my friend had sex with Kay, but now you... I didn't do anything to you. I was there your shoulder to cry on when you found out that my friend had sex with Kay. And, but you know, y'all know me. I could, she asked me, she was like, literally, when that thing happened, when the whole scandal of my friend having sex with Kay happened, she came to me, she was like, she heard that my friend had sex with Kay. She just wondered, was it true? Sweetie, I have more loyalty to my friends. So I was like, oh, I'm not sure, da, 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 but I knew. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that you're going to have sex with my boyfriend. Just because somebody had sex with your, so you know, she, he wasn't even her boyfriend at the time because they always break up. They talk, they was toxic. They was a definition of toxic. But yeah, so now I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to this. You can stop now, babe. Oh, I'll put it on repeat, whatever. So, um, I asked him, I don't know why I asked these questions, but yeah, I said, did you N-U-T when you had sex with her? He said, I get that you're married. <laughs> why are you laughing? Please get out. I need you to get out. <laughs> God. So he said, I get that you're mad. I get that you want to fight. I get that. I get that I effed up and I get that being hot isn't an excuse. I get that you don't want to talk to me. Oh yeah, because y'all, he was calling my, calling my phone and I was just declining, declining. Like at this point, I don't want to talk to you. So he said, any other nigga would say I'm dumb as F for telling my girl I did something with another girl, but I felt like honesty is the best option. I don't regret telling you. Like, you think that's gonna make me feel better because you told me? Like the hell. Either way, I was bound to find out. But y'all gonna see why I said I was bound to find out. Okay. Um. He was. I was typing something earlier, but didn't send it. I w I'm talking to Lexi. So um, I guess because I was like yes or no. Oh yeah. So y'all peep when I had asked him that question, he never answered. He just sent me irrelevant stuff, but that's not what I asked. You know. So I was like yes or no. He said yes. So pause. So I texted her. Remember, I was there for her. You know what I mean? I was there for her. Okay. So I texted her. And I said, Yeah, y'all can see him. But I was like, Sophia, you got me effed up all the way. It's straight F you. Sorry for my words I used. I was very angry and hurt. Okay. So it's straight F you, H O E. And I want your head. If you don't know what want your head means, that means I want to fight. Um, the fact that I had your back when the situation with K and G, well, it's a different G. Yeah, not the G boy, but a G girl. K and G happened and I told you that she's effed up and if she touched you, then I got you. Because keep in mind, me and that G wasn't friends when all this was happen happening. We wasn't friends. We wasn't cool. Then you turn around and F, my nigga. This just proved you B-I-T-C-H-S ain't shit. See me when you see me, ho. Period. 
Then I said, oh, cause she wasn't like, I know she see my messages, but she wasn't responding. So I was like, HOE, you is a nasty asshole. I can't wait to put my hands on you. She still wasn't responding. Then I was like, like I'm sitting back and thinking you really, really F my boyfriend. F up shit happened to me before but not on this level. And I'm gonna make you pay for this SHIT, both of y'all ass. When I said both of y'all, I was talking about him and her, right? So keep in mind, like she not responding to nothing. So I'm like, what in the world? So listen, listen to this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go back to the messages with my boyfriend because I wasn't done. So meanwhile, I'm texting her everything is, we, I'm still texting him. So, um, oh my God. <laughs> so I'm like, so everything that you do to me, you did to her. This shit don't even feel special to me no more. I'm beyond her and I don't know how to cope with this. You freaking gave her talk. You put the mouth that you used to kiss me on another freaking girl's vagina. And I'm, and what the hurt, and oh, and what hurt the most is that I'm so in love with you and I don't feel like I should be. Y'all don't listen to that part because I feel like I was dumb. Like, looking back, I was really stupid, like, beyond. Like, I don't know what drugs I was doing, even though I wasn't doing no drugs. But you know what I'm saying? I don't know what drugs I was doing, what I was drinking that night, but I was freaking stupid. So he was like, Shania, you have every right to be mad at, mad at me and upset. I get why you're angry. I see why you're mad. I know I'm an F up. I know you hate me. I know what I did was wrong. If I could take it all back, I would. I was not in my right mind, and I know it is an excuse. I know that nothing about the situation is right, Shania. So I was like, how are you that high to do all that? To do all that? Like, you don't understand how I feel. I said... Oh, shit. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I said, I'm going to keep it real. I'm torn. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I just don't know what to do at this moment. The only thing that is going through my mind is the way y'all start. Oh, my God. It's the way I started, basically, started doing what y'all was doing. Like, I'm literally imagining it because I know how it is. <laughs> because I know how it is. I can't stop crying. I just wish none of this happened. I literally want to leave ATC now. This is such an embarrassment. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. And I was like, part of me wants to tell your mom, but I'm not that type of female. I feel like I need to go somewhere far, far away from everyone, and just breathe because I was about to blow that shit down. Okay, but pause. The next day when I went to school, to be honest, I wasn't more so embarrassed because everybody kept coming up to me like, you know, they just. Like, basically everybody knew, y'all. Everybody knew. Well, I'm gonna get future to that. But I wasn't more so embarrassed. I was just more so like, yeah, you finna get it. You finna get it. So, yeah. Um, He was like, I want to literally, you know, be in the dramatic that he is. I want to literally just end my life. I can't explain to see... I can't explain to you how I was that high to do something like that. I was not in the right mental state. I can't even forgive myself, Shania. You're telling me all this, but I'm experiencing it. I'm experiencing it firsthand. You think it doesn't hurt me either, Shania? I love you with all my damn heart, bro. But it's just the fact that I made a stupid ass effing choice to get high and do something so immature and not be able to do anything about it. Um, all this that he was. All this after that, I'm going to just put it there because it's too much to read. But basically, y'all see what he was saying. I deserve truth. He's not going to lie to me. Um, and keep keep in mind, he just kept mentioning the fact like other niggas wouldn't tell they girl. But at least he's telling me. Like, I don't care about none of that. I don't give about none of that. About none of that. <laughs> but I don't care. Like, that's that has nothing to do with me. Like, what other people tell their girlfriend has nothing to do with me, sweetie. Like, just because you told me does not make me feel better. Because I was bound to find out regardless. Right. So, last thing he said was, I wish nothing, none of it happened either. I bet you don't. Yeah, I bet you don't. So, uh, so basically, the, the message I'm about to show now is, because the first time I texted her, I texted her in the group chat with me and my best friend. This now, now what she said to me, cause she didn't reply in the group chat when I said all that, she didn't reply. She texted me privately. 
and said this. I understand I'm in the wrong for what I did, and I want to tell you that I'm so sorry because I know I'm a I am partly at fault, but I need you to know that he basically initiated everything. I kept telling him no, that it was wrong, but he continued. I'm really sorry. I'm not putting all blame on him, but at the end of the day, he knew what he was doing. I apologize on my behalf of both of us. We, bit, we both did something wrong, but I just wanted you to know I'm sorry, and I never wanted this to happen. Yeah. So, I said... What did you do it? Cap? Ain't it? That's Cap, ain't it? I know. Cap. So, as y'all heard, my wife said what she said was Cap. <laughs> the hell? So, I replied, and I said, Bruh, he already told me everything from beginning to end. Because keep in mind, y'all, he told me, like, from when it first started to when it ended. Like, I wanted to know all the freaking details. I wanted to know how did it happen. Did you touch her first? Did she touch you first? Who put off who clothes? I wanted to know everything. He told me. So, um, it is 6.57. So, I was like, yeah, I'm almost done, babe. I'm almost done. You keep interrupting my video. Please stop. I know. All right. So, I was like, um, bro, he already, yeah. So, I already knew everything. I don't know what the hell keeps flying in here. Like, what the hell? But, I was like, one, if G wasn't coming to your house, then oh that was my ex name whatever i already said it did not need to be there the only reason why he was even allowed to go was because it doesn't was there that was like two you shouldn't have tried to smoke my nigga out i knowing how that shit have someone the first time they try to get high so f all that what all that what you saying i ain't hearing nothing all i know is you effed up i'm not blossom this girl named Blossom, who Kay, her ex-boyfriend, used to mess around with. So I was like, I'm not Blossom, and my nigga is not Kay. You don't F with my nigga and think that shit gonna be okay. You knew he had a girlfriend. Why the F you sneaking him in your house if he has a girlfriend? Yes, that's another thing. Tell me why, number one, they was chilling, but she had to sneak them inside. Like, does that make sense? Does that really make sense? right so like i said it don't make no sense you knew what you was doing if you had to sneak them inside like be real be real so um why well, i thought why i ended up i said why the f you sneaking him in your house if he has a girlfriend you little nasty then want to be in school like everything's okay you got me all the way effed up you say he was coming on to you so why not tell him that it's his time for that's time for him to go oh you ain't do that because you was horny and you want to f him don't you dare put oh i don't know why i said that but i was like don't you dare put your mouth on him again and don't text his phone either because this whole time she's texting him when i'm trying to cuss her out like the hell and yes, and one another thing, she she asked him, why did he tell me? Like, are you dumb? I think she was dumb. So basically, you, I feel like she planned it, number one, because y'all was supposed to link, but, but apparently G didn't show up and you had to sneak them in your house. Like, that don't make no sense. So, y'all, she tried to come for me. She tried to come for me. And she was like, so you're mad that your nigga came on to me even though when your nigga was trying to do shit, I said, no, you mad your nigga don't know how to keep his D in his pants around a female and now you're defending him like he ain't, he ain't do nothing wrong. If he, your nigga, he could have took himself out of the situation not put himself inside in the situation in the first place by initiating shit with another female. I said I was in the wrong, but at the end of the day, your nigga has a brain and can think for himself without me having to do it for him. Even if I did tell him that was time for him, that was time for him to go, he still tried to make a move on me first. So as a female, I was just trying to let you know that it was not all my fault because I'm not the only one with the brain in this situation, which I, I totally understand because I freaking agree. I agree with this message, what she said, because it's not only her, which number one, clear wasn't only you because I cussed him out too, because I cussed him out on the phone and I cussed him out on messages and yeah. So that's what she said. I'm missing the message, what my best friend sent to her. So all that happened, right? then this is before this but she said 
Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to see if I can go find the message before that. Let's see. There was before this, before this. Okay, so I found them. So, I lied. So, the first message that I sent her, it was not in a group. Was it in a group chat? I'm not even sure it was in a group chat. Y'all should, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's in a group chat, but I had texted her. Um, I had texted her. I don't know if this was the day of, okay, so we went to school the Monday Oh, was there school to Monday? I think, yeah, we went to school to Monday. She, she didn't come to school. She didn't come to school at all, right? So, but she still, keep in mind, she told this boy named, there are so many kids. Okay, so she told this boy named Kai. She told this boy named Kai. Once you tell somebody, like I said, our school is small, everybody gonna know. So she told this boy named Kai, it's spread all over school. So, sweetie, while you're not in school, it's still already going around. So everybody already looking at me like, damn, Shania. Like, they they like, they like looking at me like, damn, Shania. She look mad as hell because, like, yeah, I was, I didn't talk to nobody in school that day. Like, I was on mute. Like, because I already knew, like, everybody knew. I was on mute. I didn't say nothing to nobody. I was, all my classes, I was silent. I didn't say nothing to nobody. So she didn't come, she didn't come to school. So after school, I texted her. I said, I want to fight tomorrow after school since you want to spread the news. Spread this one too, ho. Because she wants to spread every other news. So spread that I want to watch you. So she was like, Shana, I'm not fighting you. The only reason why, the only person I told, I told for a reason, which was two. I guess she's saying she told two people. Like, the hell. It's not like I wanted that shit to spread. I said, well, your dumb ass told the wrong two people because the whole damn school know. Which, you know our school is small. You know we're getting around easily. So, like, that was dumb and that was very, very stupid for you to tell the two people that you did if you didn't want anybody to know that you was having sex with somebody's boyfriend. Like, the heck, that was dumb. So, um, so when I said that, she was like, clearly I did it. Just know I never wanted to get out for any of us. Yes, I effed up and I already apologized for it. It's already dumb. Fighting isn't going to change it. I don't want him. I didn't want him. I know there's nothing I can say to make it better. I know. Trust me. I know how messed up it is. There's nothing else I can say to you. Your dude wants to F me. When he was high, I could have completely stopped him and sent him home, but he couldn't leave by the state he was in. And I know that's not an excuse. We both made a huge mistake, and I'll feel horrible about it for a very long time. I don't blame you for wanting to fight me. I'm not fighting you. It won't change anything. Trust me, I'm not worth it. You just sound like a... P-U-S-S-Y, like, fighting is not worth, like, girl, shut up. So, so, my best friend texted her, like, because remember, I texted that in group chat, so my best friend texted her back and was like, you trifling as F knowing all the niggas that cheated on you and how it felt, y'all did this, it was, how it felt, y'all did this, it wasn't only your fault, but yeah, but yet you knew what was happening and you let it happen knowing it's his first time. His first time smoking. You could have called his girlfriend and told her come get him, but you've grown enough to have sex with the boy. I guess everyone was right. You let anybody f your <laughs> my bad. You let anybody f your vagina a real creeper. Aren't you supposed to be pregnant though? Cats definitely out the bag. Now was willing. Now was willing. Now is me. That's my nickname. Was willing to defend you and you turn around and F him. That's real crazy. This ain't sister wife. Now let me tell you why I said, why she said, um, everyone was right. You definitely, you F everybody. Because what around was, she was a HOE. And she had sex with people she wanted to have sex with. And apparently at this time, like a week before, well, a couple of days before this, she was crying in class because she thought that she was pregnant. She didn't know it to her mom because her mom was the type like take away her phone. Keep in mind, this is senior year. Her mom take away her phone, stuff like that, restrict her from doing things when she get in trouble. So she was scared to her mom that she might be pregnant and all this types of sorts. So she crying. So keep in mind, she thinking she pregnant, but then go have sex with another boy. Yeah. So that's why she said, and then she said this ain't sister wives, meaning like we're not sister wives. Like, yeah. No. So my other friend, I was texting her and she was basically like, 
I think this is during this was during school though when she texted me. So this was during school on a Monday. She was like, um, I don't know, we was texting. Cause remember I said I wasn't talking about it, but I was texting because you know that's my home girl. So she was like, um, 2019 is not at it at motherfucking all. So I was like, she was no, I, that's what I said. And then she was like, she, she figures our homeboy said he been new. How? What the f? He said during periods from second, second period, he knew since second period. That means she been said something. Cause we found out that she said something later on that day, like midday, like lunch and continuing up because that's when everybody was looking at me and, you know, whispering what they want to whisper. I said, bruh, she ran her mouth. Yes. And she was like, and Corey, our, our friend came up to him after school too, came up to Shafiq, I guess. And she was like, Jesus Christ, shit spread so fast. And I was like, she sent Kyle. It's his name's out. Kai is Kyle. The screenshots, which is one of the people that she claims she told. So to this day, I still don't know who was the second person she told. But I don't care. So yeah. So um basically that's what happened. And <clears throat> that remember she didn't come to school to Monday, and then, then I had well, did she come to school on Monday? I think she didn't come to school. No, we I guess we didn't have school Monday. She didn't come to school to Tuesday. On the Wednesday, that's when she came to school. She was hiding. When I say y'all, she was hiding. Like she wasn't like nobody see her. She went to class and then disappeared. And then she went for lunch. She she was nowhere to be found for lunch either. So keep in mind, I tell y'all we have a three-hour class for her, but that was at the, that was our last class of the day. She, I went inside class. She nowhere to be found. Ten minutes later, she coming in class, going to our. <laughs> this thing blew me. She went to our teacher, our teacher, and told her to come outside. I, I guess she told her to come outside, but basically she told our teacher that I'm trying to fight her because she has sex with my boyfriend and da 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 like how dumb like do you know how you look telling the teacher that like not gonna care our teacher was cool but do you know how stupid you look telling our teacher that like but you know she told her um she ended up coming in class because i sat over here on this side of class she sat on the opposite side of the class so she came in then our teacher was the type to if she wanted us she'll send us a message on our computer so she sent me, my teacher sent me a message on my computer saying, meet me outside. I'm like, bro, bro, like I didn't say nothing to this girl and I'm already in trouble. Like, why? Why? So, um, I went outside and then she came outside and then we had one in this little corner and she was like, um, I don't need to be trying to fight her. She's not, this is what blew me. My teacher said, um, she, she's not the, she's not the man in this situation, basically, because basically she was trying to say like, oh, it's not her fault, it's his fault. She was like, if I have anybody to blame, it should be him. Like, number one, did she tell you that she snuck him to his house, her house though? Yeah. Both of them are to be blamed. She was trying to tell me not to blame her and how I shouldn't be finding her as sweetie. I should be finding both of them at this point. It's both of their faults. So she blew me when she told me that. Like, she pissed me off. So I'm like, okay. Okay. And she was like, I better not fight her. I need to just leave it alone. I need to, I shouldn't be talking to none of them. Da, da, da. Meaning, when she said none of them, I shouldn't be talking to the boy or the girl, my boyfriend or the girl or none of that. So I'm like, okay. Okay. It's going like this. And then one ear out the other. And one ear out the other. So I'm like, okay. Okay. We went back in class and I looked at her and I, bro, I gave her the death stare. I rolled my eyes at her and gave her the damn death stare because, girl, you got something coming for you. So, um, my friend Heidi, my friend Heidi even asked me like what the teacher said. I told her da da da. So you know we was talking about that. Like, the hell is she dumb? Like, why would she tell the teacher that she had sex with somebody else? Like, that's the that's the like that was the most dumbest thing I have ever thought that somebody could do. But yeah, so um, after school, she disappeared again. So I'm just like, bro, whatever. Like she just keep disappearing. I'm never gonna have the chance. I'm never gonna get the chance. And that was just that.
so since that day oh 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 y'all so um months later after keep in mind that was in february i left it alone like i just didn't talk to her um i was stupid for doing this but i still kind of talked to him but like every like nothing was the same so like mentally i was leaving physically i was still in it but nothing was the same so um yeah i basically still talked to him i still talked to him until basically our end of our senior year because i went to prom with him yeah graduation it was like we was like that whole time like nothing was the same like we will argue all the time like i did not trust him none of that and it was just like yeah this ain't it at the end of the year i was like yeah this not working i can't i can't fake the funk anymore i don't want to do this anymore i don't and he was crying i'm like yeah i'm sorry but i just can't like it's not for me like it's not what i see for me in the future you know what i mean so yeah and it was just that so i left that and then later on like during the summer um me and my best friend had went to promenade it's like a little it's a little i don't know it's a little complex that have different stores because we want to go find a jewelry store that um my best friend had said was in there so i don't even think that was summer because we had one look for jewelry for my best friend's prom so i guess that was still during yeah that had to be still in school but it was like the last couple that's and that was in may school like that was our last month of high school so um we walk in and i walk because we couldn't find the store so i walk into the store named justice it's a kid's store to go ask somebody like do anybody know where that store is i walked in guess who i seen i seen s i seen her i walked in i turned right back around i say because i was my best i said yeah we gotta go this ain't it so she's like what what i said you don't see her and then she was like oh so you know we're walking outside guess who came outside s so bro i'm like she was like shania shania wait i just want to talk to you so i'm like bro no i don't want i don't want to talk to you i don't want to hear nothing i don't want to hear nothing so you know i'm right here my best friend right here the girl right here so i'm all the way over here so i'm like bro no she was like my best friend was like no, no hear what she got to say i was like no bro i don't want to hear nothing she want to say i don't want to hear nothing she want to say so she was like she was she was just telling my best friend that how she want to say she's sorry and da, da, da. and i'm like bro i'm not trying to hear it you know like that's done for like that was in february we're in may leave it alone i just don't f with you i don't care i don't want to hear nothing you were saying and yeah, that was just that. Until this day, I'm looking great. So, yeah, you know. But yep, that was a story time. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. You know, and you guys stay blessed up. Night P out.